be the preacher, would you be my? What's the done, the done, done? I still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here. Is your boy Zach plays AN still with this aspect of the Jerry? But hey, we have like two more weeks left, so it's almost gone, and then I can finally start using my leaping sword and hopefully have an aspect of the dragon by then. But hey, it's almost over, it's almost over. The pain and suffering is almost gone. But in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a brand new leaked bow. This bow was leaked in the Skyblock community discord by Mini Clune himself, who is a head admin here on the server. And honestly, it, it, it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It really does. This bow, I think, has the potential to be better than the Runin's bow. Um, honestly, I feel like there's so many variables, though, because the Runin's bow gives off three shots. This new bow gives off one, has a higher, um, whatchamacallit, has a higher da like base damage, base strength. Uh, it comes with base crit chance and the ability is really really cool you guys and honestly it hits home a new aspect that they're kind of bringing to the the next update into the server as a whole is and that is the fact that like it's going to be a risk to die on the server there seems to be a lot of healing things that are in the talks including um like the healing ones that we talked about in the last leak about the reaper falchion so i mean it's gonna be really interesting to see and uh, no, sorry, the Revenant chest plate was also healing as well. Honestly, everything that's been released so far has had something to do with healing, every single leak. So I think they're really trying to hint at something. And we're going to be talking about two things today. In an image that Mini Clune put out, there's also a new talisman in the picture or accessory, whatever you want to call it, that we have not seen before. So we're going to be taking a look at it, and I think I have an idea of what it's going to do. But I mean, hey, it's all it's all uh, speculation until we actually see it in game. So uh, yeah. Anyways, if you guys are excited for this new leak and you guys enjoy this type of content, Content, make sure you guys subscribe i do my best to update you guys on these things as quick as possible i'm about a day behind on this one though i'm not gonna lie to you guys i had another video i had to put up before so i do apologize for that but when the update's coming out i'm prioritizing the hell out of that thing and uh it's gonna be really interesting it's gonna be a lot of fun some really good content coming your guys way soon and uh i think the update might be pretty soon where the leaks are like picking up they're coming more often and Mini Clune wouldn't be doing this stuff if the update wasn't very soon. So I didn't, I wasn't the first one to this one. I beat Dr. Candyman to the Revenant chest plate. I don't even think he got around to doing it because I beat him. But I mean, he beat me on this one. So I do need to give credit where credit is due. If you guys want to see Dr. Candyman's video about the, the new bow as well, then I'll link that in the description down below. I'll link his video. So go ahead and show him some love. Say Zach sent you in the comments. But yeah, today we are talking about the mosquito bow. You heard me right, the mosquito bow. This opens up so many more questions, even just the title. Are we going to be see a mosquito boss? I mean, dragon armor isn't named after, like, crafting it. I mean, like, you get dragon fragments. Like, this is all from dragon stuff. And so a mosquito bow, it, does that mean we're going to get, like, a mosquito boss or something? I, I'm honestly so curious, and I have so many other questions. But uh, we're going to have to wait and see. So, unless they decide to leak that too, which I am totally up for. And uh, I would love some more content. But yeah, so the Mosquito Bow, base damage. I'm going to put a picture of it on screen right now. As you can see, this thing is a legendary bow, just like the Runin's Bow. This thing has the potential to be really insane. Uh, base damage, 201. Strength, base, base, uh, sorry, base strength is 101. And a base crit damage of plus 9%. That is already way better than the Runin's Bow just based off of those three things alone. Of course, you do need to take into account the ability of the Runin's Bow where it shoots three arrows. The two extra arrows deal deal 40% of the damage. So I think it still adds up to the 160 base damage. So I do honestly think that this bow is going to be better in my opinion. But if we also look at the item ability, nasty bite, so fully charged shots while sneaking. So basically that means that when you're sneaking, you, you can go like this and spam it and it will fully charge and rock it across the map, which is really cool. And uh, the cost of this is 11% of your max mana. So that means that, for example, 206. Um, so like if we just, let's just say I have 200, um, 200 mana for a second, just so it's easier in my head here. So max 11% of your max mana, which would be uh, 22, I think, yeah, 22 uh, mana. And it, so it would use that while you shoot it and uh, while you're sneaking. So you can only do it a certain amount of times until your mana runs out, basically. It also deals uh, plus 9% uh, extra damage. We, I'm assuming that's just base damage, and uh, which is which is really cool, honestly. I mean, that's like nine percent of two hundred, so that would be like what I mean, eighteen extra damage on top of that to like your base. So that's like doing two hundred and nineteen, almost two hundred and twenty base damage, which is like eighty better than the Runin's bow or sixty, sorry. So that is really interesting and uh, opens up so much more options in terms of bow damage and all that stuff. 
The thing is though, and as I was talking about healing before, is it heals for two times the mana cost. So it will heal you if you spend two times the mana while you're shooting this bow while sneaking. So you're healing yourself. And the, th the reason why um, healing is such a big thing, Mini Clune actually said this as well in the Skyblock community discord, is he said that imagine they're like being a risk to die. So whether this means it takes money out of your bank or whether this means you have a chance of dropping an item if you die or just there's so many possibilities that could come with risks of dying. So we have no idea. And honestly, I am beyond curious and uh, this item can be reforged. So obviously you're going to have to put rapids on that thing, get that thing going even quicker unless they decide to add a new reforge as well where it helps with healing. Because I mean, if you guys remember the Revenant chest plate, we saw it when using healing wands, there's a, a bonus and just healing really seems to be pushed home especially for this uh this update but another thing that not too many people picked up on is that if you guys actually look at that picture again here i'm going to put it up if you guys look in the hot bar you guys can see a little red box a little red head about the shape of a talisman or like one of these one of these items like a summoning eye and so it's in the shape of a talisman and i have some i have a feeling that this is basically gonna mean like you either take less damage or you heal yourself every so often i really do think that's gonna be like a first aid kit almost that you hold on yourself and it keeps on healing you so i really do think that dying is gonna be like quite bad in the new dungeons update whether it's just gonna be in the dungeons area or all across the game so i mean it's gonna be really interesting to see honestly i can't wait i can't wait to get through these doors and check it out so yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, what, what, like, I'm just, I'm overly excited, you guys. I really can't wait for the update, and we're assuming that the update will be out before Halloween. I know that sounds crazy, Halloween, that's so far away, over a month, but I do think that it's going to be early August, maybe halfway through August that we see this update. I really think that Hypixel is trying to do what they do best, and that is upping what they do last time, and they keep on upping themselves, and basically saying the bar higher and their standards higher every single time they go and do anything on their server. So like the last update, we got the end, we got dragons, and it was a huge update, and so much more content, and new items, and just abilities, like accessories, it, the list goes on and on for what they added, and I think they're doing the same here, but even more so. I think that Dungeons is gonna like absolutely blow dragon fighting out of the water, and it's gonna be so much more complex, more content, more stuff to do. I think that we aren't gonna get bored as quickly while we're waiting for the next update, because we already know that they're gonna try and up themselves again. We don't know how, but I mean, just really, the way this game's going, I am beyond excited to see what the update holds. And I think that's going to be it for me today. If you guys enjoy this type of content, you guys want to stay up to date on the new update, I will keep you guys posted here on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy this type of content. Make sure you guys go ahead and join my Discord in the description down below. We're running a really cool giveaway. Go ahead and check the hashtag giveaways channel. You'll be able to see a full superior set giveaway with a bunch of other really cool YouTubers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See you guys there. Bye.